Bank near the Skimmer gulls. The lower half of the bill of these skimmers is longer, so they fly close to the water, picking up food from its surface. Pelicans, two quite young, roost amidst hundreds of large black birds with hooked beaks on top of the mango trees. Suddenly, the air is swarming with manowar birds or frigate birds who spend most of the summer yearly on this small key. They seem to float rather than fly over us, permitting plenty of time to photograph and study them. They will probably remain into November before leaving. I've never seen so many manowar birds in Florida except here at one time. The females all seem to have white throats, as you see. Otherwise, all are jet black. The birds are about seven feet across the wings. They do not alight on the water. The birds prefer to chase gulls or other diving birds, forcing them to let go of their capture. The big black fellows can pick it out of the air before it reaches the water. A spoonbill holdover from the last nesting season flies by. Notice the red throat sac protruding on the male bird, a common sight when showing off before females, but rare in flight. The 200 to 300 birds float higher and higher until some are mere specks in the cloud. On this same key is seen the largest of all the herons, the great white heron, not often seen north of the keys, a permanent resident of Florida. The length of the bird is 54 inches, as you'll note. He has yellow bill and legs and is pure white. After the man -war birds leave in the late fall, the key is taken over by the roseate spoonbills, who will nest, raise young, and depart in turn in the spring. The mature birds are a brilliant red with some white. The young are white to slightly pink. It takes about three years for them to acquire full adult plumage. The birds have a spatulate bill, which they swing sideways when feeding, scooping up small fish, shrimp, crabs, and insects. They nest in these mangrove trees about 12 feet above the water. The white or young birds are born with pink skin, soon covered with white down. Most of the young seen are fairly well along, but the mature birds still feed them. Older birds will be seen leaving and returning after feeding elsewhere, or with food in their throats for the young. In this way, food near the roost is preserved for the young. Here a bird returns and is approached by two hungry young birds who hope to be fed, but she leaves. Another parent drops in on the flat, he is immediately followed by a youngster who bows in a dignified manner for food. She fights them off, but finally feeds one of the young. who sticks his bill in a mother's mouth, eats and then bows for more. There seems to be a constant hunt for food by both old and young, with much bowing and nodding of the head on the part of the hungry youngster. Another appetite gets satisfied.
the procession starts the minute a parent bird arrives. And then more feeding. A reddish egret lands on the bank. His top knot spreads in the wind. His bill is pinkish violet in color. Not too common. As the afternoon sun gets lower, the shade of the mangroves deepens. With such a mirror, how can spoonbills avoid vanity? A small group of youngsters pose for picture. The young are well behaved. There seems to be no fighting or shoving among them. A parent arrives. Two youngsters bow for food. Too late. It's nearly bedtime. A key sunset adds to the tranquility of this little isle, which careful conservation has preserved for these beautiful birds, a place I shall always remember. Hunted keys.